Then it's code in the day to give the keyboard a punch. Wow. Then cross, correlate, and a break for some lunch. Wow. Correlate, tabulate, process, and screen. Wow. Program, print out, regress to the mean. And it's oh boys, can't you code it? <laughs> Program it right. Nothing ever happens in the As we push on in uh, my state of video series on regression post estimation commands, today we're going to look at the contrast command. So again, post-estimation commands are used in Stata after you've estimated a regression model. You might use them for diagnostics or further, ana further analysis. So today we're going to look at the contrast command. Um, as usual, I'm using the general social survey data. I'm using uh, data from 2010, and I'm looking at the occupational prestige of each respondent and their academic degree. So let's go ahead and run our first regression model. And here I'm going to regress occupational prestige on degree set up as a dummy variable. I like to run these out of my command file by highlighting the line and then clicking on this execute um, do file, or in this case it'll just highlight the selected command. If you need more information on factor notation, see the first video I made on regression, and that has a lot of information on how to uh, create dummy variables and interaction terms. So here we get our regression output. Very typical are three parts of the regression output, ANOVA table, model summary statistics, and uh, the individual coefficients. Now with the contrast command, the first thing I'm going to do to show you, I'm just going to use, the, I'm going to reissue the regression command which will basically replay this regression, but I'm using the no table option so I get rid of the uh, the table of the set of coefficients, and I'm going to use the contrast command to test the joint effect of the degree variable. And executing this, so in the top part, we have simply the ANOVA table from the regression. You can see that the overall F statistic is 200. And then in the lower table, the, the results of the contra contrast command, um, you can see I also get an F test of 200 and a test of significance. These are identical. Now, they happen to be identical in this case because I've only, I'm using a very simple model. It's really a one-way analysis of variance with a dependent variable and a set of in, um, independent categorical dummy variables. But obviously, I could have other covariates in my model, and these two F statistics wouldn't be the same. This is a test, however, of the overall effect of highest academic degree earned. I showed you in another video for post-estimation commands that you could use the test command or test parm post-estimation commands to get the same results. So now I'm going to kind of flip this around a little bit and I'm going to show you the re I'm going to replay my regression but with the no header command we won't get the ANOVA table and then I'm going to use the contrast command but notice now I'm 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 using for degree I've got a prefix to degree it's r period and what that's going to do is create contrasts, a specific contrast of each coefficient with the excluded or omitted group. <clears throat> and what this should provide for us is an equivalent um, to the t-test that we get in our regression output. In this case, it'll show us F statistics. So let's go ahead and run these two commands. The results of the contrast command are on the bottom. And I'm going to roll the screen up a little bit so that we can see some of the uh, regression table with my uh, contrast command. All the way at the very top we can see that the high school dummy coefficient, uh, we can look at our beta hat sub 1, but reading across we find a t statistic of 7.21. Looking down at my contrast table we can see that I have an f statistic of almost 52. So what we're getting in this table below is, are the f tests comparing each of the dummy variables to the excluded group. So the less than high school versus the high school versus less than high school has one degree of freedom and has an F statistic of approximately 52. I can recover this and using Stata as a calculator, I'm just going to display my T statistic, 7.21 squared, because we know from our statistics class that our T squared is equal to F. And you'll see I get that uh, 52 down there. So using contrast in this fashion, looking back at the file, you can see that I'm getting individual F tests comparing each dummy variable to the omitted or reference group. If I want the p-values right on my output instead of these um, confidence intervals, I can use the PV effect um, option. And furthermore, if I want both the confidence intervals and the uh, p-values, I can use the effects option. 
So let's go ahead and run the uh, state of program lines 12 and 13. So we'll use PV effect, get the p-values, and we'll use effects and get p-values and confidence intervals. Here's our output for the p-values. And down below is we have pretty much everything. We've got our overall f-test table at the top. We've got our f-test table at the top. We've got our individual coefficients and tests down below with p-values and confidence intervals. The last two commands show the no effects option and the no walled option. Basically, this lets you when you think if you think of the um, contrast command as having two parts, the table of uh, f statistics and the coefficients down below, you can toggle them on and off. So no effects will get rid of the effects table. No walled will get rid of our f test at the top. Let's go ahead and just run the no effects, and you can see over in the wind in the results window that uh, we're not getting the coefficients and confidence intervals. And then if I use the no walled option, you can see that I'm suppressing the F table at the top and all I'm getting are my effects. The last thing I want to show you about uh, the contrast command is that we can also make comparisons to other categories. For example, if I use the, instead of using R dot degree, but I use A dot degree, so line 17, you can see that. The A stands for uh, calculate adjacent differences. This is going to calculate the difference of the coefficients uh, in adjacent categories. This doesn't always make sense. For example, if I had used as my major independent variable marital status, then you know, married, widowed, separated, divorced, and never married, then then calculating differences across categories, adjacent categories, doesn't make it really much sense because there's no order to them. But in this case, the academic degree variable might very well be useful for you because this is a discrete orderable measure. And in fact, looking at adjacent categories uh, might be helpful. So let's go ahead and run that command. We get our F table at the top. But down below, look down at those contrasts. You can see that we're now no longer comparing just, um, we're no longer making a comparison to the omitted or baseline group, but to the group below you. Finally, you can reverse this coding using AR.degree. So the AR is the prefix. And this simply will compare to the category, you know, again, adjacent categories, but in the other direction. The last thing I want to show you is the PW compare post estimation command. Now, this is one I suspect that you, uh, your statistics professor, will uh, warn you about. Um, because this is going to make a comparison or, co or contrast across every combination of dummy variable here. And while it will give you the most information, you need to guard against making um, uh, an error here, and you might need to use some kind of adjustment similar to a Bonferroni adjustment for making multiple comparisons. But having said that, I can issue the PW compare, compare command in line 22. And I'll just say PW compare with degree. And you can see I have significantly more output. But now I'm getting the contrast of each uh, dummy variable category with every other dummy variable category. So a lot of information here. And uh, planned contrasts, I think, are really more appropriate statistically. But I just wanted to make you aware of this post estimation command. Like the other. Um, post estimation commands, we can specify that we'd like to see the p-values. And then I can also use the CI margins option to provide means and standard errors and confidence intervals. So let's just run these two. Here's our table with now our p-values, or our effects. And then down below, is that we get an additional table, which is the average occupational prestige by academic degree with standard errors and 95% confidence intervals. Well, there you go. There's a number of ways to begin testing your coefficients uh, after you've estimated your model. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. And it's code in the day to give the keyboard a punch. Then cross, correlate, and a break for some lunch. Correlate, tabulate, process, and screen. Program, print out, regress to the mean. And it's oh boys, can't you code it? Program it right. Nothing ever happened.